Hey guys, it's Renee and I'm here to share a couple design team projects for My Style Stamps with you. Um, today is the release day for three new stamps. Um, I have projects for two of those. The first one is Fly High and it has butterflies and um, some great sentiments and these leafy flowery things. I don't know what to call those. Um, but a bunch of different butterflies to use. The next one is Rain or Shine and a super cute little girl with her umbrella and raincoat and rain boots on and um, two sentiments, hello sunshine and I'm here for you rain or shine you get raindrops, a cloud and a little bird and then the third one is called love captured and it is great for cards or project life or um, photo journaling and um, lots of great sentiments on here, a cute little Polaroid with a heart um, a camera, speech bubble with a heart, so a lot of great things on this stamp set also. And if you haven't checked it out yet, right now there is a, um, the My Style Stamps released a YouTube hop going on, um, where I show you better the new stamp sets. And you can check out all the design team members and see their um, hot projects that they have posted for today using these three new stamp sets. And I'll put a link to all that down below and also a link to the mystylestamps.com page where you can purchase any of the stamps. And if you use the coupon code YTHOP at checkout, you can receive 10% off your entire order, and that is good through March 23rd, and I will put all that down below for you also. So if you're interested in any of these new stamps or any of the older ones, um, you can use that and save a little bit of money. So let me show you my projects. I made two cards. Um, the first one, let's see, we'll do this one. The first one is using the Rain or Shine stamp set. And here it is. And I did, I've been really into watercoloring lately. So she is um, watercolored using the Tim Holtz Distress markers and um, ink pads. And I did some... Um, paper piecing on her also. So the paper I used came from this Studio G paper pack and I found this at Walmart for I think it's 98 cents there and I really love these papers. I need to grab at least one more of these before they're gone. But um, I used it for her umbrella and then I just colored underneath here like what would be the inside of the umbrella with um, I want to say old paper just to give it that shadow that looks like it's the inside and I paper pieced her um, raincoat with just a pink and white flowery paper and then her rain boots match her umbrella um, everything else is watercolored and I did this on some Tim Holtz Distress car Watercolor Cardstock. Um, oh, and I did make a list of what I used. So her hair is done in vintage photo. Her little flower in her hair is um, the center is mustard seed and then worn lipstick for the pink. Her little skirt is faded jeans, and I did that color. I wanted it to sort of look like a jean skirt. Her skin is um, antique linen, 
and dried marigold with a little bit of the worn lipstick for her pink cheeks. Um, down here there are, um, this is the tumbled glass just to make it look like some water and um, her umbrella handle is the mustard seed again and then for the background I just used the tumbled glass ink pad and the little the little um, raindrops and just randomly stamped them and I didn't I just like tapped the ink pad and stamped it down so they weren't solid. You can see like some of them aren't um, fully stamped out and that was the look I was going for. I um, used the sentiment, I'm here for you rain or shine, and I left the inside blank just so I can stamp that whenever I need to use it. Um, the card base is a just a card base out of my stash that I think it was maybe five by seven and I just cut it down. I wanted the yellow color underneath there and I'm trying to use these up so I can um, empty out a drawer for other stuff. And I just um, cut it down to this card is um, about three and a half by five and a quarter. And I corner rounded the outside edges with my half inch corner chomper. So that is it for that card. I'm really happy with how she turned out. She may be my favorite girl so far. I love her hair and her rain boots. My son has um, rain boots every year and he loves them. And um, I just really like her. So my next card is with the Fly High stamp set and when I saw this one I thought this is going to be great for watercoloring and it is so here is my card um, it is a four and a half by five and three quarter inch card this is again a um, pre-made uh, card base that I just cut down to the size I needed and this is the Tim Holtz um, watercolor distress paper again um, I stamped out first the um, flowery vines and I stamped one here and one on this side and then I masked off parts of both of them and stamped right in the middle so leaves are behind different things so it just didn't look like I would repeatedly stamped it out and then again I mask off this and stamp the butterfly so it would be behind this leaf and flower and I watercolored the leaves with forest moss and peeled paint and the flowers are aged mahogany which I love that color. You would really think that aged mahogany would be brown, but it is more of a purple. And I really think it's a pretty color. Um, my butterflies are mustard seed and dried marigold, which I think dried marigold is my favorite um, distress ink color. And I just wanted like a peachy, yellowy color, something nice and bright. And I stamped out the sentiment fly as high as the sky. And again, left the inside blank so I can just use it for whatever I need. And then for the background, I started off using the tumbled glass and broken china markers. And I just put mark, you know, I just drew like around things and started adding the water and it wasn't spreading as much as I wanted it to so I then started using the tumbled glass um, ink pad so I could get it um, spread further faster and um, yeah really happy with how it turned out I went over the both of the butterflies 
with this Studio G glitter glue, and it is just like a white. It doesn't have any like iridescent or anything. It's just a white glitter. And I think that is about it. I um I stamped all of it with the archival ink, which is my new favorite ink and works great for the watercoloring and you know, stamps great. It'll it stains the stamps, but I mean that's just it doesn't affect them. It just uh, doesn't look as pretty on your thing. So like you can see she's darker than she should be. But she still stamps perfectly fine and I think it's great ink. So that is it guys. I hope you go check out the hop and participate. You can have a chance to win a $10 My Style Stamps gift card if you um, visit all of the hot videos and then um, go to Nicole's video, she's Colby's1981, and leave a comment on her video to enter. You can leave a comment on all of the other videos. We'd love to hear what you think of our projects, um, but her video will be the only one that counts for your entry. And again, if you um, can't wait and want to get in on these new stamps before they're gone, um, check out mystylestamps.com and use the coupon code YTHOP, um, all capital letters, I'm not sure if that matters, but um, yeah, I'd go ahead and put it in like that anyway, and uh, get 10% off your entire order until March 23rd, so definitely take advantage of that if you are interested. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.